It's not my fault Herschel has a crappy fence. Well, this is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. He's not friendly. God damn it, Kenny. Where's it going? Run! Pew pew. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Yes, Worse, whisper in They couldn't let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? They would have died out there. Then we let them. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. <laughs> in a minute. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's not wrong. They took a risk. Yes, we did. And we appreciate it. Now let's settle down. Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over he my was just grabbed. Body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? He's kind of big. Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Let's kick his butt. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. It's Larry, right? Man, this is his son. Look around, dumbass. I got a daughter in here. You got a daughter in here. Get your head out of your ass, boy. We've all got people in here. We can figure this out without killing anybody. There's another way. Yeah, with a shovel. <laughs> I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. It's a little boy. I think we can handle him. A little boy? He'll be an uncontrollable man-eater. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing them out now! Knock this guy out. <laughs> Happily. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, no, they're fighting. Oh, he got punched. He could die. Jesus! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Come on. Oh, can stop falling down, please. Come on. Get up. Great. Good okay. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys. Uh, Everybody down. Stay quiet. Wow. I'm gonna get in. Shut up. Is that the military? I don't know. Thank God for whatever it is. We almost died because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Ah! Having a heart attack. Plus one for the team. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Then I'll head out and get gas. I'm gonna There's make a it. motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You're insane. Well, it's gotta get done. Plus, I'm quick, and I know Macon. Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you? What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you? You keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills, boss. And she's mad. Energy bar. I can give her the bars if I need to. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. You seem to handle yourself pretty well. <laughs> really? I'm a disaster. I can't tell. My news editor was eaten about five feet away from me, and I would have joined her if it wasn't for that dorky guy on watch over there. I'm sorry. She was an asshole, but, you know. <sighs> yeah. That guy saved you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Those creeps, or, or ghouls, or whatever the hell they are. They were pulling our van apart, and that guy, Doug, just came to the rescue. You can never tell who the heroic ones are gonna be, I suppose. He's kinda cute. In that parent's basement sort of way. <laughs> huh? Huh? Oh, nothing. How'd you end up here? We drove up to cover the Cherry Blossom Festival. Real hard-hitting stuff. Sounds worth it. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. Radio, huh? Mm, yeah, nothing. that probably wasn't the first thing to try. Antenna. Battery door. There are no batteries in this thing. <laughs> what now? Batteries. 
Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. God damn it, Carly. Get your shit together. Batteries, damn it. Like trying to turn on computer plugs being plugged in. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we can and eat him. We'll keep it down. Don't need to bring him back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. I'm gonna regret this. Jesus. Yeah. Let's go back inside. Nom nom nom. They just eat. As far as I can tell, that's all they care about. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. Probably more than that. Can't reach that brick. Really? You just stick your arm out. Come on. Yeah, that's a hasty fortification job over there. Yeah, it didn't work. Look at the one trapped over there. Better hear oh. that. Huh? Oh shit! What? Do you know that guy? Kind of, he has a familiar face. Oh, you're from around here, huh? No, it's looking at us. You know, and they start rotting and they'll cheat up and... Shut up, Doug. <laughs> Shut up, Doug. Look at the uniform, though. He could have worked at the drugstore and died with keys in his pocket. It would take a lot of effort to make it safe enough to go out there and see if he has the keys. Somehow prove that he worked here. I think it'd be worth it. I'll see what I can find. It's a combination lock. Did you guys try to get in there and get weapons? I did, but it was too risky. And then a bunch of guys showed up and they tried. And what happened? I think they're most of who you see wandering around out there. Well, he did say he tried. Uh, TV star. Hmm. Too bad we don't have a way to come out here and watch the news. Would be nice to know what's going on elsewhere. Atlanta's in rough shape, and that's all I know. I think that's all. It's fucking Doug. How'd you end up here? I moved here to live with my uncle. He does tech stuff and it just made sense. So you're local. You probably knew the owners of this place. No, not really. I've only been here a couple months and I spend a lot of time... On the computer? No, just doing my own thing. On the computer. How about you? Parents were made I grew up here. Been trying to get home since the day I came back. Oh, so... You probably knew the owners then? Yeah, I did. Good people. Do you think we're safe here? Well, I haven't been able to get through this gate so far. The drugstore's safe enough, I think. Whoever owned it took good care of it. It's well stocked and it locks up well. What's everyone like in there? Oh, well, Carly's pretty nice. <laughs> yeah. Lily doesn't take any crap. She's been running the show, keeping people on watch, things like that. And her dad... Yeah, that guy. He's kind of a dick. <laughs> Pardon my French. French? Really? We 
should think about searching that guy across the street. Maybe he has them, but who knows if he actually worked here. Let's head back inside. Okay. They really don't see us. Do, 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 do. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. <laughs> Who would? It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Can I uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I'll see about that. A little hungry. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. Socially awkward. That's good. Yeah, I think so. Uh, being good is <laughs> good. Despite the circumstances. That's so awkward. Yep. She talks like me. Very awkward. Well, sit tight. Okay. Oh, one battery. But do I just need one? Or do I just take two and one, one slot? Energy bar. How many, how many do I have now? Three energy bars, one battery. Office. Talk to the lady. How's he doing? I'm not sure I got your name. It's Lee. Lily. My dad's Larry. Lily and Larry. I was just doing what I had to earlier. Everyone was. Now his heart's acting up again and I'm powerless to do anything. And that violence before with my dad, that didn't help. What's wrong with him? He's got a heart condition. He takes nitroglycerin tablets pretty regularly. I've seen a few bad attacks that he couldn't get over and needed to go to the hospital. Yeah, that's uh, not really an option right now. I'm just trying to keep him relaxed. He's got a temper. Ah, fuck you! <laughs> yeah, fuck your he turn. doesn't mean it. It's just that... Yeah? We've got kids here. Family. He and I are a family. I'm just saying some people can't handle a temper like that. Hell, barely seems like you can. It's just his way. Don't make him the reason everything's screwed. Where's her mom? Savannah, I think. Oh, you guys aren't together. Oh, uh, no, I'm not her dad. I found her in a house when getting out of Atlanta. She'd been surviving by herself. I think the girl's parents didn't make it. Oh. I heard an answering message. They were in Savannah. She was home with a sitter. It wasn't good. Well, she's lucky to have you. I thank you. You're from here? I work at Warner Robins, the Air Force Base. Yeah, I know it. Pilot? Nah, just mechanical admin stuff. I deal with a bunch of shitheads and bureaucrats all day. Sometimes a plane, if I'm lucky. You? I work up at UGA. Was anyone here when you guys got here? No, this place was pretty wrecked. We pulled a couple of bodies out of the office. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Did you know anybody here? Yeah, the owners, they were, uh, we were close. I'm sorry. We found an older couple in the office. Dad hauled them out in case they weren't really dead. What do you think about all this? What is there to think? The dead are up, walking around, eating people, and turning them into more... more... of them. I mean, Jesus. 
We need to stick together and get through this. I'm gonna get back to him. Sounds good. Is there more energy bars? Yep, yeah, one more. Thank. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Ooh, a second battery. It's two batteries. Photographs. Greeting cards. No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead cards. Yes, that's very we funny. We just need to get back to Fort.